Yay there, folks. I figured I'd come talk to you again tonight. Tell you, uh, the pig came back. The darn pig came back again. I don't know what I'm going to do about that pig. It came back yesterday. That's why I wasn't on here. I was out here wrangling this darn sow. Well, it's a guilt, but... I tell you, that pig gonna be death me after running that darn pig around. I fed it chicken nuggets, ate every dead gum one of them. They eat me out of the house. I gave it some pretzels. It don't like pretzels. Gave it some croutons. It didn't like no croutons. Honey, this is getting to the point where you're gonna get what you get and you don't throw a fit. But she didn't want that. I gave her some saltine crackers. She liked those. Finally, after two hours messing with this stupid thing, I gave up and I said. You can do whatever you want to. I ain't mess with you no more. I threw in the shoe, or threw in the towel. Yeah, threw in the towels how it is. I tell you, it's getting ridiculous trying to wrangle pigs around here. What, what the crap? Pig, that gum down here. Like, what the heck? Whose pig just randomly walks away from home? Walks a mile. Mm, that's going to spit it out. My bingo daughter. Oh, it's all dried out. Well, heck. It's all right. But anyway, I have my bingo daughter. I forgot to put the cap on it and dry it out. Well, crap. Anyways, um, why would that pig come down here? I don't know. I guess because I gave it chicken nuggets every time it comes. Well, we had it wrangled for a couple of days. And, oh, we got a pen. We'll put it in the pen. Evidently, that pen didn't uh, had a hole in it. Because that gum thing got out. Newsflash. I really don't want your pig. I mean, I like the pig and everything. It's fine. But it's starting to get a little irritating last night. He wasn't listening to me. She just wasn't listening. Good. Just don't, don't send your pig to my house. Unless it's in the form of bacon or pork chops, ribs. Baby back ribs are pretty good. Pork chops. Pork burgers. Sausage. Bacon. Oh, bacon's its own food group. I don't care what you say. Bacon is its own food group. If you don't agree, you're wrong. That's what I got to say. Like... You got, you know, you got your meats, then you got bacon. You got your dairies, then you got bacon. You got your grains, then you got bacon. See on that food pyramid triangle thing? I don't believe that. That's falsification. That's fake news. That's a clown show right there is what it is. Um, because bacon is the only food group and it ain't on there listed. I mean, they got... We got proteins. I don't even know if proteins are on there. They got meats, grains, dairies, vegetables, fruits. I don't know what else is on there. They forgot to put in there uh, your, your beverages, you know. Orange juice, coffee, water. They didn't put anything in there to drink. Diet Coke. I'm putting that. What the heck is that about? Like, okay, you want us to eat all this? What the heck you want us to drink? You want us to dehydrate and die? I mean, okay, food pyramid. I didn't look at food pyramid in a while. I may be wrong. They didn't put chocolate cake on or anything. They don't want you to have dessert or something. I mean, people, you got to think before you publish this on the federal government website. Of course, I don't know if it's federal government. I don't even really know what foodpyramid.org or something like that. It's an organization. Maybe .gov. Maybe .gov. Heck, I don't know. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. I'll never look at it. As long as you get you in your food fave. If you get these elves food group, you know you got candy, candy corn, candy canes, and syrup. You know, there's your four main food groups the elves stick to. I don't recommend sticking to that. Unless you want diabetes. Hardcore. Like, you want your candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. 
No, don't do that. I really myself don't like candy. I might have a piece of chocolate with nuts in it, or sweet and salty, or I may have caramel and chocolate. Very rarely, once in a while, great while I'll have one. Do, I just ain't big on those sweets. Everybody get me chocolates for Christmas. I got chocolates for Christmas and a secret Santa gift. The heck. I liked them. I appreciated them and everything. I ate them. It was good. But I ate them that aren't so slow. Everybody else ate them before I did. What's that about? I mean, they're gum. You know? It's just so sad. I, I don't know. I do like to have those uh, snack, something snack on, you know, nuts. You know, and they're okay. Honey roasted peanuts. I like honey roasted pecans, but they're hard to find. I found them at Walmart, though. That's a wee good. Yeah, oh, that's another video. I'll talk about Walmart and the social distancing products. Oh, don't even get me. Oh, man. I'm having a glass of whole milk tonight, if you want to know what I was drinking, my Coca-Cola glass. If y'all remember, back when Mickey D's was running them specials, wait a second. Those were the ones without the handles. Them was the sissy glasses. Dealt straight to the face. That sissy glass didn't have the handle on it. You can't hold on to the darn thing. I mean, good, good, good. You got this little thing, but your hand gets cold. Why the handle? Drink smarter, not harder. Live by that. Um, so, basically, that did not come from that McDonald's special. I do have one in there. But I dropped most of them, broke them. I did, and them darn, two, them darn little rascal kids, cousins, and brothers, I ain't got no sisters. No, I only ain't got no sisters. No, no sisters. None biological sisters. I don't got no blood relationships. I got people I'd claim as sisters, you know, but I ain't got any sister sisters. I don't know, I don't know, whatever. Not the point. Besides the point, them kids broke my glasses. Okay, I might have broke a couple of my, because I'm kind of clumsy. I went to pick that darn thing up and dropped it. Because I'm, I'm just stupid like that. It happens the best of them. You can't have every talent, because if you did, it'd be boring for the person, because everybody wants you to come to it. I can sew better than anybody else can. Everybody's going to bring your stuff to sew good. That's great. But my gosh, you're going to get... What's that you get in your hands? Uh, carpal tunnel. It's all coming back to me. It's like a boomerang. <laughs> you know how they do... You got that six million dollar man. That's what they did in the office. I love that. You ever watch the office? That's a good show. But basically, that's my thing to talk about tonight. It was food groups and that darn pig came back. And somehow I got in on this. Oh yeah, the glasses. What I drank. I always drank something, you know, I'm talking. Get thirsty. Go have something drank. Go have something drank. If you don't. You get dehydrated, start coughing, hacking, sound like you got coronavirus in the video. Hope y'all are doing well with that, you know, with this quarantine. I hope these videos make your quarantine a little bit more livable, I guess. I can't think of the word I was going to use. I better quit. I don't know what some of these big words mean. I better not, I may be completely wrong. I'm going to quit. I better not use big words. Big words alert. But anyway, I hope that, um, that darn pig, though, let me get back on that. Oh, my gosh. Fat old thing, too. I don't know how she walked mile and a half up here to the house. She walked mile and a half from the house, the neighbor's house down there north of, north of us. What, what, what you doing? Walking like that. Mile and a half down the road. 
That's a fat pig, the belly dragging the ground, but walks that far. I don't know how it does it. I never knew Peter liked to walk that far. Maybe I need to go talk to some of my pig raising friends. I got them whip, whipper, whip, whipper thing. Chow, chow. I don't know what them are. Show sticks. You can use them on cows. But I like the ones that got the little hook on them. You can rub their brisket. I call them brisket. I had to learn cats and meat one time. I don't care as long as it's cooked. I like my steak medium. I don't want you to cook it till there ain't no flavor left. You just gotta chew it like shoe leather. I want to have some flavor in the dead gum thing, okay? Don't cook it all the way. Brown on both sides, just a little pink in the middle. I don't like it raw. I want just a little pink in the middle. Just a little pink in the middle. I don't want that darn thing cooked like shoe leather. That's the wrong way to eat them. That, that is the, that's just, it should be illegal, really. It should be. It should be. It's just indecency. But I know people do it. Oh, well. You can have yours. I'm going to eat mine and be able to enjoy it. I don't know how you eat it like that. Oh, poor people. I feel sorry for you if you eat it that way. I don't know how you do it. I tried it. Oh, my God. I'd be illegal. There's a lot of things I'd be illegal. I think I'd be illegal. Eating broccoli? That ought to be illegal. I don't even like broccoli. Cooking it in the house ought to be illegal. That stink. That stinks. Cooking cook cooked broccoli. Woo! Talk about running you out of the house. That's nasty. My friend, he just loves cooking broccoli. I'm not really good for him. But I don't want no broccoli. I don't know how to do it. Well, um, back to the pig. I know I'm off everything now. I'm just plumb wild. But that pig, I find things to talk about other than people. That darn pig. Why do you come visit me? Not that I don't like you visiting. But don't mess with me while I'm out in the flower beds. Okay? That's my view on that. Really, it is. And I'm going to get back out in the chicken yard again. Don't you worry. I'll get back out in that chicken yard. And I'll do some chicken videos here in a couple of days. Um, I'll have somebody record it for me. Cause I just feel I could be better that way. And, uh, that'll be pretty nice. I hope you enjoy this. And I'll be back at you at the end of the story here. All right, this is Rock and Chair Report, I believe, number six. Enjoy.